You did, the, there's a court date on January 9th down here in Sierra Vista, or the court's phone number is on here if you want to call them before then. And Why is this so sketchy right now? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I wonder if that's like a cartel truck. Nope, it's a UPS. Oh, it's a truck. <laughs> At this point, we got to be very, very careful because a lot of times people cross the borders, and I'm not saying like you know the the normal people that cross the borders are bad, but like sometimes we'll get the cartel. They'll cross the borders and they go into people's houses and try to like you know shoot people up, steal their homes, and steal their cattle. So we got to be very careful out on this road. I'd also like to point out that we are at South Border Monument Road almost. Oh, wow. Dude, what if like someone who crossed the border and there's like a bunch of people just hiding in the bushes? I mean, there literally could be. Like, yeah. waiting for the moment, there the car. literally could be people in these bushes. You never know. Yeah, it's, it's very actually dangerous. It's very possible, boys. Well, it looks like it's kind of getting a little better. So, we're at the South Border Monument Road in Mexico. It's all the way down there where those lights are. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going to go right now. So, here's the thing. There's real danger here. As Aldo said earlier, like we usually encounter like animals and like homeless guys, but out here there's cartels, there's shady people, and we just gotta be really careful, man. And the fact that we're on these like back roads that are just unreal, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm really nervous. There's a real danger here. Yo, I don't think we're allowed through here, boys. Wait, do you guys hear that? The barking? Coyotes? Yeah. It says no, no trespassing. Wait, why does it? No, it says day use only. Like we can't cross why unless not? it's a daytime. But why? I don't see why we can't. Should we just go? Yeah. Let's do it. What does the sign say? It says day use. What is that one? Trespassing. Well, oh, like it's cool. private land. Oh, okay. So, so maybe we could find another way around. Yeah. The, so the owner that Damn. that owns the land they probably only lets it during the daytime. Day. We're gonna go. Whatever. Let's just get shot. I'm just gonna drive really fast. As fast as I can. Let's do this. Yeah. Turn around. Um, we have to turn around because the, the gate's locked. Yeah. Damn. There's a safer way we can go. Yeah, let's go back before this guy, oh. anyone comes out here with a freaking shotgun. Yeah. Like, or like, maybe the cartels own this land, dude. We gotta it's be true. Careful. It's It is a possibility. Yeah. So no joke, guys, this is, um, private property for the some GPS reason, but Road, the GPS the told us we can go through here, which I don't get it. Uh, it could, this could be lands owned by the cartel. That's why we need to get the hell out of here real quick. We just heard a really loud bang underneath the car. Like really, really loud. You guys see anything? The tires are good? Yeah. Holy crap, whatever that was, was just intense. Oh yeah, the, the skid plate is broken. Yes. Yeah. All right. At least, at least, at least that's the only thing that's broken. What broke? The skid plate. Yeah, the skid plate's broken. Whatever that was, it was so freaking loud. Yeah, it's just a piece of plastic. That's all. Dear rental company, I'm sorry. Like, if we break down here, we are toast. Bro, we're in the middle. Of yeah, let's not there. break down. The border road is, yeah, a couple of hundred meters down that way. Here. Yo. It's an abandoned, like, trailer or something. Bro, the cartel use these trailers, though. Yeah. We gotta be careful. Shit. Most logical thing that this could be used for by the cartel yeah. is either a pit stop for their drugs and money, because yeah. they do high drugs and money in places like this, or it could be something for the migrants, you know what yeah, I mean? Looks, like it just looks really shady, that's yeah. all I know. Yeah, let's get the hell out of okay. here. They've never been anywhere near one of these, so that's kind of creepy. You know what that's for? What? So it's to so keep animals, right? Or no, no, not even that. A lot of them are like I saw a documentary. A lot of them are doing it to keep um, the migrants out of their properties and yeah. stuff. Oh, so if people are running, they don't come into the property. Yeah, oh yeah. God, if you touch, you're gonna get electrocuted right now. Yeah. I don't want to get too close to that fence because someone could literally just shoot at us for no reason. We look very suspicious right now. And if I was a farmer, I would think a couple guys, a bunch of guys, are trying to break into my property. They're gonna start shooting, so we gotta. So directly ahead of us, in like a few hundred feet, is Border Road, and that's where the big border wall should be, and that's where we're gonna be camping out the night. Uh, we cannot get through this with this van. Fuck. We gotta go around. We're literally somehow. so close. So close to it. Fuck. There's no way we're getting out of the car. That's just stupid. No, we gotta go back somehow. Uh oh. I hope that's not a cartel member. He just stopped when he saw us. I think. But it's very shady that all of a sudden there's two cars. Dude, are they blocking the roads? No, 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 I think we're good. That might be a cop, to be honest. Pickup truck. It's a cop, that's a police officer. Is it? Yeah. It's a border patrol. Oh, shit, okay. 
Let's ask him what's the best way to get to the border. <laughs> sure. Hello. Okay. Question for you. What's the best way to get near the border? Near the border? Yeah, we're yeah. trying to make a documentary. A documentary? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So from here, there's not really any place you can get to. Okay. Because all this is going to be private ranch land. Okay. Um, the only other place we'll be able to do it is actually further east down in the actual town of Nako. Okay, okay that's where we're going to go. That's where I punched yeah. in next. So. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right, have a good night. There you have it. That was the border police sitting out here in the middle of nowhere, making sure, you know, people don't cross over and whatnot. At least they're out here. That makes mm -hmm. it feel a bit safer, to be honest, right? Yeah. But we now have to go to a place called Nako. We thought it was Nacho, but it's called Nako. And that's where we can get to the actual border. From here, it's all private land, apparently, so we can't get through. So all those lights that you guys are seeing off in the distance is Mexico. Those lights there are the border wall. That's where we're trying to get to. Those lights out there, that's literally in Mexico. It looks like everything's moving. Like it's all like flickering, right? And doing weird stuff. There wow. could actually be people waiting there. Yeah. Then, let's go find out. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I just heard some gunshots. Those gunshots? Think so. We just heard gunshots. All right, sergeants, as you guys can see, we are at the Mexican border. There's Mexico right there. And what we're trying to do. What is that? Is somebody firing guns in the distance? So now that we're here in the town of Nacho, or Naco is what they call it. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it Nacho for this whole video. Um, we're gonna find a place to camp out the night safely. There's a cartel out here. There's bad people out here. There's police everywhere. We heard some gunshots when we got here and the border is literally right behind me. Like this is like another Area 51 video, but this is more scary in my opinion. Just check out the surroundings. Check out how everything looks here. Mexico is literally right there. Like that car is driving in Mexico. Yeah. Like, those people are in Mexico. This is wild. Whoa. I wonder if these guys are like onto us. I mean, we're not doing anything wrong, but. Oh, there's the Federales. The Federales. Dude, they got someone in the back. Did they? Yeah, I think so. Oh, what the hell? They got, they got mi some migrants. That is crazy. Oh my God, dude, that's crazy. That's a whole family that they just picked up. There's yeah, they were in the truck. Yeah, but they, they were in the truck and they just let them out of the truck. I guess they're taking, taking them back to Mexico. What? This is wild. Never in my life did I think I would see this. The person that's walking was looking at us. So they sent him back to Mexico. Dude, I got him taken out of that thing and put, yeah. like, that's crazy. I feel bad for the family though, but man. They got, yeah, they got to do their job, I guess. Whoa, look at this guy. Bro, he's giving us dirty looks. You see someone? Yeah, he was like, giving us dirty looks. You see where that light thing? Yeah, yeah, he's behind that. Is he watching us? Probably. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Whoa, what the heck? Dude, he's giving us dirty looks. Oh my god. He's like, what are these guys? Yo, he sees us. This is so sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> this is so freaking sketchy. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, 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 the car of guys just showed up. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go now. Go now, 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 now. A car full of guys just showed up. We gotta go. There's a, a, car, a car full of guys who showed up. They were just staring at us. Oh, look, they're looking. They're looking. They're looking. I'm not taking any chances. Whether they're friendly or not, I'm not taking any chances. It just goes down for miles and miles and miles. Nothing but wall. I wanted to come here in the daytime, guys, but our time limit out here um, isn't going to allow us because we're time restricted. But this is it. The NACO Border Fence Project 2017. Wow. I think there's a car over there in the bushes hiding. I can hear idling. So right now, we're just walking the road here at the border wall. We're going to the more lit areas. Like, it's very thoughtful of them to put lights here, you know? <laughs> 
but if you were to try to jump the border you're gonna get cut up on all this barbed wire which is scary very scary imagine trying to jump over oh man there's no way you know what i noticed you know what there's a lack of is cameras yeah there's like no cam there's no cameras anywhere what oh yeah we didn't touch the wall yet be careful what if it's electrocuted is it not electrocuted be careful it's just metal no dude watch out man i don't want you to get electric i don't think it's electrocuted no nope just metal. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The wall. <laughs> all right. We're all gonna touch the wall now. Let's do it. Let's touch the wall. Right. Is this like an initiation? Initiation. We're gonna touch the wall. We came here. We touched the Mexico border wall. Hello, Mexico. They say if you touch the wall and then knock on it three times, a guy in a sombrero shows up. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> There's a really weird sign over here, and I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'm gonna go see it. There's a weird sound too. You guys hear that? Very strange sound, and there's a weird stench here. I'm not sure what it is. It smells really bad, to be honest. Huh? What's up? Oh, that sign says, do not drag cattle over guard. Okay, noted. Someone's even wrote their name on the, on the wall. Maybe I should write my name on the wall. That would probably be illegal. It's a federal, <laughs> federal wall. These guys are saying there's someone yelling. What the hell was that, dude? You missed it. We just heard like a group of people yelling from down there. Really? Yeah, I say we hop in the car and drive down that way. I think there's a lot of action going down yeah, that way. Maybe. maybe someone's stuck in the like the fence or something. Maybe. Bro, it didn't sound like someone. It sounded like a lot of people. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, we, we can literally go to the other side from here, see? Other side of where? Mexico or the road? Uh, the road. We're not, okay. So we're gonna drive down this road near the fence. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if police will come after us. It looks like a public road. That's why Google's telling us at least. It says West International Road, so I don't see why it would be an issue. This is what we're doing, guys. Overnight at the Mexico-US border, we're just trying to document anything that happens. Like if it's crazy, whatever. If nothing happens, we're still gonna document it because that's what we came all the way out here for. All right, here we go. Let's see. Are we allowed to drive here? Are we <laughs> gonna, international road. Are we gonna go to jail or not? Here we go. Imagine if somebody just like crosses all of a sudden. I don't see from where though. Like it's it's, it's almost impossible to get across. It looks like it floods too, because there was like a the road. Uh oh oh shit! Lights. Lights. Oh crap! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, 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 shit. oh, oh my god! Hey, go, my back, god. go back! Go back! Go back! <laughs> go 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 go! Oh, they're coming they're for coming. us! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back don't, where? Don't run, just wait until they get here. Wait, what? Oh, well, no, that's hell? that's a light pole. Oh, oh my god. That's what we that? saw earlier. I told you about it, remember? Somebody oh, flashed a light at us. Yeah. The problem, yeah. I think there's a car coming. Yeah, I think we're testing the limits here, boys. Well, let's just keep going. I don't see no, the no, signs, right? I don't, so that, I don't that, think that's a good idea. That big that's, pole with the red light? Yeah, I see it. It's telling us to get the f out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, I don't see any signs. closer. You don't see any signs, I know, but the light is the sign. There it is right there. Well, we might as well go over this close. No. I heard a lot of yelling down there. I think what's actually happening is they're looking for people because mm -hmm. me and Angelo earlier, we heard a lot of people yelling. So I think they're actively looking for people who literally just crossed. Yeah. I don't think they're looking for us. I don't see any humans there. I'm going to move up a little bit, just a little bit and yeah. see what will happen. I'm telling you, go up. We just heard so many people yelling and running. But I didn't catch it on camera. Any second. Dude, we look so shady right now. Just turning around, don't mind us. We're just doing a U-turn, that's yep. all. Just, uh, dude, what if they start, start shooting at us? Yeah, that's no, kind of like, I mean, they're not going to you, but like, still. Dude, I'm telling you, they're not looking for us. They're looking for people oh, who just crossed. What's that up there? Because we just heard people. I don't know, it was like a weird box. Oh, that's part of the, the beam. Yeah. So they didn't turn the light on this time. They're they're looking they're for people. Still. It's going in a circle, look. They're literally looking for people who just crossed. Because we heard a lot of people yelling, you're running. Let's see, let's see what happens here. There's a gate right I think, there. I think we've gone far enough. And I guarantee point. you there's guys with rifles oh, over there waiting for us. 100%. You saw that dude in the, in the bulk lava. So I'm Straight zoomed there. right in on it. Yeah. Anything? Anybody there? No. Uh oh. That's crazy because we literally heard people yelling here. I hear a car coming. Where is it? Uh, I think that might have just been on the roof. So oh, 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 oh. What? There's activity on the other side. We're in front of me. Okay, you around. see them? No. All right. I had to get out just to show you guys exactly where we are. There are houses right there, guys. Right through there. Right through there are cars in Mexico and houses. How insane is this? That is crazy. Wow. Oh, someone's coming. Someone's coming. Yeah. I see cars. Er, 
So there's these doors that were cut open by the cartel and the government here in the, I'm not gonna say where, what country, but you guys know who did it, um, Bo Jiden. So anyways, they cut the doors open to let people through for some reason. And these are the doors, they were welded open so nobody can close them, but then eventually they managed to get them closed. Yeah, not maybe not these ones in particular, but there was uh, doors somewhere, I just don't know exactly where. This is, <laughs> this is unreal. <laughs> I never knew there was a door at the, on the wall. Yeah. This is the wildest shit ever. Look how big these blocks are. <laughs> Even stamps. OWP 2017. Why is your rock there? Wait, do they open? These plates were yeah, welded though. Yeah, these plates are new. Yeah. They are the they're probably doing something. Yeah. You think someone got these open before? 100%. <laughs> no way someone opened this. This is crazy. Oh look, they're into the floor too. Yeah. Why would there so many doors? So this isn't the only set of doors. There's more doors down over here. Let's go see if we can find anything. It'd be oh guys, look. Look at all the stuff here, rubbish. Tires, where they would like pr try to use to get over somehow. There's a rubbish, there's a, t a TV, I think. A TV? Yeah, it looks like a broken TV. There's a bucket. There's use that to put over the barbed wire. Oh, there's a lot of stuff over here too. That's so cool. Oh my God, there's like water bottles and buckets here as well. More tires. Yeah, they probably did at one point. So I'm pretty sure the tires for, were used to be like thrown over, and when they jump, they land on something soft or bouncy like a tire. Oh my on the other side God. Um, nothing, more tires. I see hay. Hello, Mexico, is anyone home? Can I come in? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh yeah, I hear that too. There's like a lot of noises coming from this side. What are the chances you guys can throw your drone up and see what's on, like, further out? We won't be able to see. It'll never make it over. No, no, if you just go straight up. They have dro drone jammers, you can't. Oh, serious? You can't even get it up, like, two meters. Oh, uh, I didn't know, okay. So we're literally just driving and stopping in different spots, but look at this, there's a weird box over here. I wonder if there's anything in it. I thought I heard somebody yelling. This could be, like, a tunnel access, honestly. <laughs> That wasn't on. That is someone watching us yeah. right now. It's, that uh, light there just turned on in the sky. I don't know what the hell it is, but it just turned on. So we're at another point here. There's a gate, a really big gate. This is probably like the connection point and they have barriers here. So you couldn't get across if you wanted to. But I mean, I guess if they had like something big enough, like a tank, they could just ram right through. Anything behind it. What freaks me out is that there's a possibility that we're gonna find drugs. Cause if you guys remember years ago, my wife and I were in Mexico vacationing at a resort and we were walking down the beach into like areas that don't have resorts and we found a brick of cocaine washed up onto the beach and it was called Diamante. It was actually um, two weeks later, everybody on the, in the videos were like, oh, that's probably fake, you planted it. No, I don't plant drugs, okay? Um, it wasn't fake, it was real 100%. And then uh, two weeks later after that incident, more of the shipments washed up onto Florida shores, the same one called the Amante. It was cool, I found it there, I filmed it, I just left it. Um, I don't know what happened to it after that, but what I was told is that it was worth like $250,000 if it had made made it to the USA. Um, I'm willing to bet if we really search out here, we would find something, but although that is not the intention of this video, we do not do drugs, we don't want drugs, and we don't wanna look for drugs, okay, cartel? We don't want none of it. I really expected to find like some dangerous stuff out here at the border, but we found a cow. Oh, some Hello. Friendly reminder, cows do chase after you. Oh. Shit. Hello, Mr. Cow. Wait, don't go nowhere. Don't go, wait. I think he got freaked out when I said carne asada. We're hungry, we want some carne asada, man. We came out here to find some action, but we found some beef instead. Hey, <laughs> carne asada. <laughs> cows aside, guys, check this out. Someone's destroyed the barbed wire here. Dude, I bet they were getting ready to jump over, or they did jump over oh my from God, here. Is that someone's gloves? Yeah, that's someone's gloves. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Holy crap! Look, someone literally tried like crossing like here. A scarf. Oh, is that their hat? That's yeah. like a hat yeah. too. What? Oh my god! Someone hat? literally tried crossing over here, they and did. they destroyed the barbed wire. Look! 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 look. Oh, oh god, a glove. Glove. Oh it's my god! Glove. What the hell? So they do cross from here. This is the point where they cross from, right? Yeah, oh, yeah it looks like it. Look, somebody even wrote their 2023, 26 September 2023. Someone. <laughs> <laughs> would you go tell the border crossing that this is done? This is off. You wanna go snitch? 
No. I ain't doing that. They nope. can go figure it out for themselves. <laughs> snitches yeah, get man. stitches. No, Why would I tell them? The I'm not going to tell my Mexican homies. I ain't doing that. I ain't a snitch. Carlos a snitch. Everyone's going to see when they see this video. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh. But they're not going to know. That's I ain't snitching. Crazy. Go oh, look at this. It's a cell phone battery. Actually, yeah. yeah oh, Nokia. Oh, oh my god, let me wow. see that. Burner phone battery. Chill, yeah. dude. Look at this. This is my find. Alright, right, check it out. There you go. <laughs> Guys, check this out. This is insane. This is what I mean. Like you come you out here, you'll battery. find. What the hell? Oh, I found somebody's uh Nokia. religious rosary thing. Oh, oh my god, god. Right. that's so freaking cool. Yeah, someone definitely hopped over and then they ditched their cell phone, I guess. Oh, oh look, it's like I think a religious rosary yeah. thing. That's so. That's cool. like for good luck. Yeah, I guess so. They'd wear that on their. Excuse me, cat. Where it's you think you're going? Actually, <laughs> are you going back to your? All right, I'm gonna put it right back here then. Yeah, what else can we find out here? Just found another glove. Look at this, another glove over here. Oh yeah. What are these? Oh, more like electronics. There's so much electronics out here from phones and stuff. Yeah. Probably old burner phones, oh, right? Oh, for sure. They get over, then they destroy them. There's another little mitt over here. Do not try what we're doing. This is very dangerous. The, the people that are here are good people, but there's always bad people lurking in the shadows. Like the cartel could be here and they could think we're cops or something and they can shoot at us through the border. So we're not we're not equipped. We're not armed. We're just a bunch of dumb YouTubers at the freaking Mexico border wall doing a, a an overnight video here. It's crazy. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of activity here. There's a lot of bottles and rubbish. So they're definitely jumping right over this wall here. Man, that's a high jump. That's at least 30 feet, guys. But if there's no barbed wire, I think they'll make it, obviously. But scaling that down, man, that's a slippery slope. Hey, cow, get over here. We're hungry. Get over here. <laughs> there's the cameras right there. Oh yeah. There's a pole over there with the cameras. You see that? Oh, you think that? You think there's a camera on there? Well, it, I can literally see the camera on there. Really? Yeah, solar power cameras. I don't know if this is for the farm owner or for the actual border over here. Welcome to Mo Sarge's US border tour. If you guys want to book me for a tour, I charge $2,000 a night. I'll take you to all the hot spots and we'll have tacos at the end. Oh, there's another part that's really destroyed over here. We didn't even notice this. We were filming that one, but this part here is all messed up. What's, what can we find here that's cool? Let's see. It's like a treasure hunt, guys. Is there a treasure hunt here? Oh, that is crazy. You can like literally drive cars through there. Some some beer cans. Pretty much it. Surprised there's no like blood anywhere, like from jumping over these things. Sometimes you might find stuff like that. Oh, there is some bandages. Oh, somebody cut themselves then. That's crazy. That. It's crazy that I found bloody band-aids over there near that other Did one. You? Yeah, there's oh. bloody gauge band-aids on the ground. Oh, there's cows f***ing. What? Oh, <laughs> hey, what's up? They are? No, they're just they're feeding their children. Yeah. Oh, Hello. So cute. How you doing? All right. Excuse me there. You have a good day. And on this segment of the tour with Mo Sarji at the U.S. border, there are rope. Look at this. Driving down. Every Look. time we drive down, we find more and more items. Look at this like ring or whatever that That's is. That's a Someone's camo. Yeah. Someone's like outfit. Camo shirt. Yeah. This maybe, rope. Uh, maybe from the cartels. Rope. Actually. How the hell did they use this? I wonder if whoever did that made it across. Holy crap. Holy crap. Like you'd have to be rope. pretty thin to get in between that and then get down here. Just yeah. So that way you wouldn't get it. What the hell? 100%. That's so cool. That's Guys, you know what's very strange is that we've been here for hours doing this. No one showed up. Yeah, Security. We're all busy on the other side where all the migrants are. Ah, uh, yeah. That, that's possibly possibly the thing. This is like, like if you just had a ladder here, it'd be so easy to get your time. Guys, we just drove We just drove to the wrong entry. Dude, this is literally Mexico. It's really stupid. It's like very shady. <laughs> Sorry, wrong way. <laughs> well, just a guy with a gun standing outside. Like, actually. Well, like, yeah. All right, let's get out of here. We look so shady right now. Holy crap. Can't touch it. Can't film it. Can't touch it. Can't film it. I think maybe we're going too fast, but I don't know. What was the speed limit here? So. Being pulled over right now, you guys. Are you sure the guy gave me my ID? Hello. Hello. Good, how hey, good, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm Trooper Fishback with the Highway Patrol. Hey. Are you guys visiting? Yeah, we're from we Canada. From Canada. Okay. Yeah. The reason I'm talking to you, so it was 65 
uh, before you got to that little community back there called Palominas, and then it drops to 45, then it drops back, it comes back up to 55. Okay, I'm um, sorry, I, didn't, I must have not noticed this sign, I apologize. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, all right, that's fair. Do you have your driver's license and registration? Yeah. Yeah. So coming down that big long hill, it was about 84 and a 55, and then up here it's, you were going about 70 and a 55. Okay, sorry, I probably I just wasn't paying attention. Okay. I guess. All right, that's fair. Are you guys videographers? Yeah, we, we are, make YouTube yeah. videos. Did you guys get anything cool? We went I to mean, the border. Like we're we're kind of like yeah. documenting the border and stuff like that. It's the first time here, so it was really yeah. interesting to see. All right. I'm well, trying to get my driver's license. I can appreciate that. Do you guys have a YouTube channel or oh, something? We do. Yeah, yeah we do. We all have uh, a different YouTube channel. A different YouTube yeah, channel? Yeah. Okay. We're all individual YouTubers, so we have our own like content and stuff. Oh, gotcha. All yeah. right. Well, hopefully it goes well. Okay, so I guess this is what you need? Yeah, if it's a rental, it might not I have look no idea like that's that. the right yeah, thing, but did, did you that, find it? I don't think that guy gave me my ID earlier. He did. I saw him literally give it to you. Really? Yeah. You weren't talking to a different cop. We you? were. We were filming a video, and this cop came up to us, and he was asking us what we are doing, and then he ID'd us, and he took our IDs. Oh, okay. But was then, that in Douglas or Bisbee? Uh, no, I, I couldn't to be tell you. With okay. you. Yeah. Uh, there's this, too. That looks I like registration. It. Yeah, that's a little better. I must I have put it. Okay. It's a rental, so... Let me give you this back. What we can do is you have a license in Canada. Yeah, I do. All right. I'll just have you write down your, your name just in case. Hopefully you gave it back because I don't know about Canada. You should have it. Licenses are expensive here in, yeah. in Arizona. Yeah, bro. It's probably in my pocket, so I'm going to get it from my pocket. Is that, that okay? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Oh, here it is. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. There you go. All right, I'll be right back with you guys, okay? All right, man. I guess I was going a little too fast. Whoops. <laughs> Man, what's, this is like, what's up with us today in like cops? I don't know. Well, Sarji, these videos are fake. These videos are fake. People yeah. always be bitching and complaining about videos. I'm like, we literally, like, it's so late now. And like, we're, we're going through so much just to give you guys content. And we get pulled over all the time. And Also, that was the nicest cop I've ever met in my life. Yeah, but nice cops usually mean big tickets. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, here's a thousand dollar fine. <laughs> Okay, it's, an hour and six it's probably gonna be a thousand dollar fine. It always is. Yeah, I appreciate you guys' cooperation. Here you go. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. You gonna be um, easy on me or what? Well, yeah. So I'm gonna explain that. Okay. So, um, they probably didn't tell you when you guys came to Arizona. Anything 20 miles an hour or more over the speed limit is technically a criminal offense. Oh no way! Whoa, whoa. I'm not gonna make you guys come back to court here. I appreciate okay? that. Thank so you. So what I did write, I wrote a ticket. It's called waste of finite resources. Basically, anything over, anything less than 10 over in a 55 mile an hour plus zone. We can say, hey, you're just wasting gas. It doesn't count as a speeding ticket on a record. I don't know if Canada cares about Usually, usually the U.S. tickets, like I've had tickets in New York before. Okay. They don't really count on the record, no. Okay. okay. So this doesn't count as a speeding ticket. It just says, hey, you were going too fast, and they wrote it in this, or they wrote the law in the state so we can give people breaks and say, hey, just slow down. Okay. Especially because uh, if I gave you a misdemeanor ticket, that's a mandatory appearance. Hmm. Uh, if you guys don't want to come back here, don't blame me. <laughs> no. So, no, we're, um, heading, we're heading. We've been out here for two weeks. We miss our families. We're heading home in like two days. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so if you did, the, there's a court date on January 9th down here in Sierra Vista. Or the court's phone number is on here if you want to call them before then and see if you have any options or just take yeah. care of the ticket. Um, do you have any questions for me? No, so I don't have to go to court or any of that no, stuff you now. No, you have to. You need to contact them if you want to take care of it over the phone. Okay. But it's not a mandatory appearance where you don't have to come down to Sierra Vista. Okay, cool. Okay, so there you go. Right, do you man. have any questions for me? No, no whatsoever. Okay, I appreciate it. Uh, I was going to ask, is there any videos I can watch later tonight? Yeah, go on my channel, Mo Sarji. Mo, 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 Sar Mo Sarji. Okay. All right. Okay, I appreciate you guys travel safe. Okay. Appreciate cool. you, man. You. Take care. Bye. So what is the video? Uh, let's see. Oh, my battery's about to die. Actually, border patrol, guys. We're literally being followed by border patrol. Like, I'm not even joking. Actually? Yeah, he just turned his lights on. It was a white and green. Uh... <sighs> Get your cameras ready because we're being followed by border patrol. Turn right onto the I 10 West back? ramp. Yep, probably. So, we've been uh, getting followed by two different cops. We got pulled over once. Border Patrol just followed us into this road, and then I was being boxed in by another truck. We didn't film it, but it was really scary. Um, one truck turned around and left. This one other guy just chases down the road, flashes lights at us. I was, he stopped now. I don't think he's coming now, but everywhere we've been going, we've been secretly being followed by like these Border Patrol trucks. <laughs> somebody talking from the bushes someone's screaming border police everywhere border patrol 
We are literally at the USA Mexico border wall and the wall is missing on this side. That was literally a makeshift wrap. Like they literally made that to, to float over. What's up sergeants? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, you guys have already seen the title and thumbnail. It's gonna be a crazy one. So we're here in Yuma, Arizona. It's a very windy day and right behind me is the Mexico wall. Now last year we did a video camping near the Mexico wall in Arizona in a different location like two hours and a half away from here. We went to the wrong area. We went to an area that didn't have much activity, just police activity, that's all. Today we actually want to camp out here yet again except we want to go to the river where people cross from it. Apparently it's dangerous, apparently people get shot at, apparently there's a lot of action that goes down there. So this is going to be an interesting camping video. Nonetheless, we're literally in the middle of nowhere right now. Nothing but farms and a giant wall as far as the eye can see. Now, I don't care about your political views, what you think about the wall, what you think about politics and all this bullshit. We just want to make a video out here. I'm not here to disrespect anybody. I can care less about politics or anyone's politics. I'm only here to document because I love making videos. Now smash the like button if you guys want crazy videos like this in the future. I will definitely give you guys more, but it all depends on you guys. Smash the hell out of that like button. Whoa, look at that military plane right there. We got a military helicopter right there. That's crazy. So I do have a wind mic on my camera, but it's very, very windy today, like extra windy. So it might be hard to hear me at certain points. I apologize for that. Now we do have two border guards up ahead. We're gonna pass them. I don't know if they're gonna follow us or not, but what we're gonna try to do right now is find this river that connects the USA and Mexico. And apparently that's the river where a lot of people illegally cross over from. Now I wanna see if there's like, is there police there? Is there military there? Are there people dying there? People being shot at? Cause that's what you hear on the news, right? So let's go and find this river. It's somewhere nearby, right? It's this. This is part of it, I think. Yeah, but this is a little canal over yeah, here, but on the US like side. But the actual river, river is like between the gates, I think. Oh, we got border police showing up right now. Ontario. <laughs> yeah, they're probably like, what, why are these guys from Canada? What are they doing here? Yeah. No, they don't care. No, they won't as probably as much attention as possible this area in particularly they're so like underfunded they don't have enough guards there is like gaps somewhere hopefully we can find them and people literally just run across oh man i want to see that so i think there's like an official crossing somewhere around here the search for the river and the gap in the wall has begun there's a door like a massive so that's, door that's the that's the river that's literally mexico over there yeah wow Hey, dude. Yeah, there's like a big gap in the wall here. That's so interesting. It's like a, is that a door? No, uh, it doesn't look like a door. This is a really big gap for some oh, reason. Yeah. I kind think you gotta turn left from down here. I don't know. As long as we're allowed. I, I mean, there's no sign saying we can't. I say we just do it. I mean, you wanna ask this guy? Yeah, let's go down <laughs> there. Let's go down there. That's interesting. There's literally no sign saying we there's can't go there. There's signs right there. I just can't read what they say. Okay. Let's go ask that guy up ahead. Okay. All right, we just got to go ahead from that sheriff that we can actually drive down there and right up to the river. That's the river crossing that they go through from. So I guess these were like the, these were probably open at one point. Yeah, but this is still USA over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's so, no actual fence on the other side. Like the fence just literally ends, or the yeah. wall, I should say. There's no trespassing. In there maybe? I guess so. I honestly don't care. Like, they can come and say hello. I mean, I don't know which side's no trespassing, so... Their signs are not clear. I'm gonna stop and take Yeah, so the, the, the river is, like, literally right over there. Yeah, so there is a real risk of us getting shot at by, like, cartel yeah, members. It's not even a joke. Oh, this yeah. is, it literally ends right yeah, here? Yeah, the wall just ends. There's a river. I've seen this on the news. This is the part that I've seen on the news. This is crazy. Holy shit. People literally get shot at from here. Yeah, look, there's a, another guy right there. Well, I think that's still the USA over there because I see an American flag over there. There's still an American flag over there though. So there's a river here. I'm gonna look on my GPS and see what this is. All right, so basically that right there, that's California. Mexico's on the, that side on the left. And then the, obviously this side is Yuma, Arizona. So this is where the wall ends, guys. Look at this. The wall literally ends right here. Although this is literally USA, right behind the wall. Like you can see the, the Americans in the trucks over there. Pretty crazy. But this is it, this is where it ends. Yeah, look, that's, 
freaking wall is massive. What's this over here? Oh, it's just a solar panel for something. This is cool. Dude, as if they literally just left this all open like this. Yeah, so they can actually cross. Like, if they cross, they cross from there. I wonder, like, how far down it's just completely open. We should well, take a drive. Well, it doesn't matter, because it's Arizona and then California. Is yeah, there. yeah. Look at that camera. Uh, there's, like, a solar camera right behind you. Yeah. But, so, Mexico is there. I know it's hard to see. There's, like, a sandstorm earlier, and the, the weather ain't the greatest. That's Mexico over there. California over there and then this is USA over here how crazy would it be if we seen some people just now like crossing over dude this is cool yeah. so that obviously that's not Mexico that's USA right there Mexico is over there on the left side but they do use this river to come through sometime watch out for the alligators <laughs> oh yeah we're not in Florida <laughs> Yeah, it literally looks like somebody was hiding out in here. Like, right in there. Yeah, it was like a bag. So somebody clearly was like sleeping in there and hiding. Waiting for the right time to make a move, right? Alright, so we found like this opening here between the, the wall and the little rocks here. This is still US soil. We can technically walk in here right now. So we're going to do it. Because over there, that's where the... Uh, the river crossing to Mexico is. This is the river crossing to California. All right, let's do it. All right, we're crossing the wall. This is cool. This feels really weird. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm in like the worst possible spot. Right but we're still on U.S. soil, which yeah. doesn't make sense to why the wall is still here, like on U.S. soil, and not make it like right there on the water's edge. Because look, the wall continues there. You see that? See that piece of? I think that's Mexico. Yeah, that's that's the Mexico side. So it continues. Oh yeah, well that would separate California from Mexico. Yeah. All right, well let's go see if we're actually allowed to be here or not because there is a border guard over there. But you guys can definitely bet that there's probably somebody hiding in these bushes waiting for their, their move or whatever. A van? I saw that, it's just a camper van. That guy? Yeah, it's just a, like a, one of those like vans. I don't know. All right, so right now we're walking. So far, no one's said nothing to us. There's a, a border guard right in front of us. I'm told they really aren't allowed to talk to you. Um, yeah, if you ask these guys, he's not gonna say. He's yeah. not allowed to say anything. Right? Dude, do you see what? Do you see what I see over there? I think that's like an inflatable raft or something. Oh yeah. Up, up ahead on the ground by the <laughs> by the sheriff or by the border guard. There's like a, a makeshift raft out of tires over there. That's crazy. Is that a freaking gondola or is that like a, a tower? That's crazy. Yeah. Dude, this was definitely a makeshift raft. Look at that. Yeah. That was literally a makeshift raft. Like they literally made that to, to float over, which is pretty freaking crazy. Dude, that's insane. It's got like metal parts to it too. Oh yeah, so we got another CBP over there on that side. There's like so many cops down here. That's crazy. They even, they even have a boat. You think that's Mexico on this side of this yellow line? Dude, this feels so weird. Yeah, that is Mexico. Well, no, because he's driving on that yeah, side. side. Yeah, and I see an American flag over there. Where? On the other side. Look, over there on the other side. There's an Amer I know it's hard for you guys to see, but. All right, just to show you guys where we are right now. Like, we're in this parking lot. That's Mexico on the opposite side of the line. So we can't even actually get to the water's edge because it, it literally... because no, the water is Mexico. <laughs> yeah, and parts of the beach over here is, is Mexico. So we got to tread very carefully. There's literally border police everywhere, border patrol. And apparently this line here, behind this line, I think that might be Mexico as well. This is so confusing. We're literally risking our, our like life right now. But yeah, check it out. This, like, I don't think we can even move any further than this because that's like... But there is an American boat on the water, yeah. right? Like that right there. Like this is crazy. So parts of that is Mexico and parts of that is USA and they do cross from here apparently. All right, so the plan is, is to keep walking down this road here behind this wall and see if you can find anything cool, anything, maybe somebody hiding in a bush somewhere. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys were us and you found somebody hiding in the bush, would you rat them out or would you just let them be? What would you do? I just heard somebody screaming. You heard that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what would you do? Would you rat them out or would you just let them be? I mean, the 
people who are coming here, they know that they're crossing illegally, a lot of them. Even the ones that were coming into Canada, they told them, they're like, you do know that what you're doing is illegal, right? Yeah. They're like, yes, they went in anyways. So, I it's on them. I wouldn't, it's, I, I, it's none of my business. Honestly, I wouldn't rat them out. It's none of my business. But if, if someone actually needed help, like if there was like a, a young person that needed help or whatever, that yeah, we'd like get them some help, right? Yeah. So I think we can just keep walking down this way. Okay, Sergeant, so right now we're actually gonna walk down this road um, to what looks like maybe here, or we'll be closest to the river and closest to Mexico. So we'll be able to get a better view of the Mexican side over there. And it doesn't look like there's a fence or anything, so we might actually get lucky over there. Thought I heard gunshots. Yeah. Yo, look at this. Bro, look at all the, the shotgun shells everywhere. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, sure. Dude, this is crazy. There's literally shotgun shells everywhere. So I guess they're firing at people? Yeah. Like the Americans are? Well, we've been told before that this is a really good idea. Yeah, because we can actually like get we shot at. Get shot at. Oh, look at that, we got more. More shotgun shells over here. Clearly the CBP or police or whatever, they've been firing, you know, onto people coming or maybe they're having gun battles with the cartel. We got more over here, as you guys can see. Winchester, These are pretty new. 12 gauge. They're all pretty fresh. Yeah. Crazy. Bro, what kind of a gun battle took place here? There's like bullets, there's shotgun shells everywhere. Like, there's so many of them. <laughs> yeah, some battle probably took place here recently because these are fresh. Thought I heard somebody screaming in the bushes out there. So, if you guys are new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Usually we do haunted stuff, abandoned stuff. Sometimes we do stuff like this whenever we're in the area. Obviously I'm from Canada and I'm not from this area. So anytime I'm out here or near this place, I'm gonna come here and do a video. It's cool to see, it's cool to experience. Not many people dare to come out here because it's very, very dangerous. So please subscribe. And uh, if you haven't gotten yourself some Live A Little merch, do me a big solid favor. My link is down below, mosrg.shop. Get yourself some merch, help support the adventures. Got lots more videos coming your way. And I genuinely want to say to all my fans out there, to all you guys that have stuck around for all these years, I've been doing this full time for like almost 10 years now. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys more than anything. You guys mean the world to me. And thank you for all your positivity throughout all these years and just sticking by me, you know, after all these years of nonstop shenanigans and excitement and adventure and knots of entertainment. And trust me guys, I ain't going nowhere. I got plenty more in me. So hopefully I wanna keep this going for the next like friggin' 10, 15, 20 years. Cause I love doing this. I love making videos. I love entertaining you guys. And I love making your day better. And I know these videos make you guys really happy. So yeah, man, smash the like button if you guys are happy. So I have been walking for like 15 minutes. There should be an opening to the river somewhere on the right over here. And uh, that's what I'm trying to get at before we move along to a different area. So we're trying to see if we can see directly to Mexico across the Colorado ri River over here. Cause this is what this is. This is the Colorado River, which I had no idea um, about until coming on this trip. Well, we got more shotgun shells over here. Winchester 12 gauge. Seeing a pattern here. <laughs> seeing a pattern. Gun battles. That's the pattern that I'm seeing out here. Oh man, we got someone's pants over here. Look at that. Crazy. Oh, check it out. We got this canal on this side. The river should be actually right there. Yeah, it is. Oh, Jesus. Duck scared the crap out of me. I'm on edge. So, yeah, that's the Mexico side right there. It's so hard to see right now, I know. But all that motorcycle sound or ATVs, that's on the Mexican side. Okay, so I'm still walking here and Angela said there's no opening to the water on this side, but guess what? There's an opening here. There's actually something here though. Looks like there's a, what the hell? Okay, so we got, they got cameras here. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, this is cool. This is like Kana's Utah Boy Scouts. This is the 1846 U.S. Army Colorado River crossing. That's cool. So I think I found an opening to Mexico, which is pretty crazy. There you go. I knew I'd find it. It's just really hard to see. 
like really really hard to see because the sun is like opposite of our camera and it's making life hell right now I don't see anybody hiding out in the in the grass though looks like they do come up from here I guess yeah we found this location down by the river definitely coming up from here that's how they got these I think these are like ground sensors I think so yeah oh you hear that There's some talking over there. It's crazy. It's so insane. Ugh. All right, I think we've stayed too long. Yep. Yeah. You just never know when you're gonna get sniped at by someone with a sniper rifle. Yo, these cartel guys are heavily armed. They're more armed than the freaking CBP. Like they got freaking weapons, man. Just sounds so creepy out here. Just definitely like a negative energy. It definitely feels like we're not supposed to be here, but again, we would have been told by the CBB guys that we're not allowed to be here because they did see us and we did have a, a little short conversation with a cop, a sheriff that was behind the gate. Gonna take a little souvenir with me to Canada. Do you guys think I'll make it through the border? Let me know in the comments below. What if I was an illegal person right now, like I entered illegally? Would that border guard intervene? Because we're just walking around with cameras. Like, like here's a, here's a smart way. Like, if you want to enter this place illegally, here's a hack for you. Just hold the camera and pretend like you're vlogging. Like, actually, like, it was, like no one said nothing to us. Except, like, the only reason why we talked to a cop is because we actually went up to the cop and talked to him. But literally no one said nothing yet to us. They can't. Yeah. They have orders from the useless government to not talk to anyone. So right now we're going to make our way to a different area. We're hoping to get to see people crossing over. That's what we really want to do. We want to see if like the hype is real. I'm sure it is real. I'm not saying it's not, but like on TV, you see like mass amount of people just coming across. But this is the second time we've come through and we've just found clothing, you know. We found a lot of cell phones last time, you know, broken ones. But so far we haven't seen any actual humans. Guys, how crazy is it that we can just like literally sneak across the border like this? All right, back in the USA. Nah, I'm just joking. We actually, that's, part of the USA it's weird how the border is actually situated like it's not like completely closed off to the Mexico side they just left a big gap open I don't know why I don't know why they did that but they did oh, that's where they go in from it's going to Jurassic Park now <laughs> quick let's get in before it closes all right twenty dollars says these shoes belong to Someone that crossed here illegally at some point. Damn. It's a nice shoe. Looks brand new still. If anybody wants a shoe, it's right here. Come and get it. Of course, we got more shotgun shells over here. But along the river, we are driving somewhere. Look at this. I want to show you guys something cool here. So this is still the USA, even across this river. But they have these shelters. And you guys might have seen these on the news. Back when uh, a lot of the migrants were crossing over into this area, they were putting them in these shelters here because you know it was very sunny and hot, and a lot of them were suffering from dehydration and stuff. And they would sit in these shelters. I wish I could get close, but there's literally no road to get to this. Just uh, some water. this there's a whole shelter over here wait does it end or does it curve it just ends look there's no more wall oh that's crazy oh what the hell there is that's crazy Should we walk? let's walk down to this all right so this is absolutely crazy so these are I seen these on the actual news a while back like look they have porta potties they had water for any of the uh, illegal immigrants not just from mexico obviously from all over like latin america coming through you got two uh border guards over there and they're probably coming for us right now actually but look the border wall literally just ends that's that's it there's no more border wall that's absolutely insane like how crazy is that you would think like you would want a wall so i guess like this is a known area what does this sign say though 
Attention. That's all I know how to read in Spanish. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna have ChatGPT read that. They have water coolers over there for them. That's crazy. I wonder if there's actually any water in there. Oh, there's a fire van. <laughs> Check this out. They literally have water coolers over here. Any, is there any water in there? Oh, there is water. That's crazy. What the heck? So you know you still have like people coming through. Like you got the sign over here. What the hell? At this shelter, it was used by the uh, people that crossed over illegally and they probably still use it and you can tell because they have a cooler that that is full of water isn't that crazy so yeah um we're being watched right now by the border border guard so like back there there, back over there huh down that way yeah. i don't know but i don't think we can go that way that's literally mexico can like, we go this way i, I don't know we can just keep down. yeah we can't but you know past this yellow gate i think that's mexico like past the yellow gate over here Okay, so this sign, it says crossing oh, it here. Actually is yeah, I told you. This sign, it says crossing here is illegal and may result in deportation and a five year restriction on entry to the United States. It is important that immigrants follow the law and only present themselves at a designated port of entry in the United right. States. Immigrants outside of the United States can use a mobile phone or device to begin their asylum process. Let me know if you need any further assistance. <laughs> Oh wait, that's Chad GBT telling me that oh. part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have uh, CBP. He just pulled up and is watching us. As long as we don't cross the yellow border there, we'll be completely fine. Look at this. They got jugs of clean drinking water too. Now, this is obviously important because a lot of these people that cross through have been through hell and they've been through deserts and stuff. And when they come over, obviously you're going to want some water. So oh, look at that. It's, it's, in, it's in Spanish. It's in Arabic. Mia Ashurb. <laughs> drinking water you got more drinking water over here more porta potties not gonna lie i think i gotta use the bathroom they even have like hand washing stations so like these are still being used this isn't abandoned like this is something that's still being used like at any given moment right now we could actually encounter somebody that's crossed over right from there like where the gate ends and we didn't even drive that far from where we just were at the river like we're literally still here all right, I'm about to use the bathroom at the border wall. Is it clean though? It's pretty clean. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Why not? So yeah, guys, this is a crazy discovery. Like we were not expecting the wall to just end, like not even barbed wire, nothing. <coughs> so we're gonna keep driving down the road and see what else we can find. Like since there's no wall, then there's a chance that we might actually really get to see some migrants crossing over. I mean, there's, you can see them moving around down there. You actually see someone? Why? There's another car down there look all right let's go I check see headlights let's go check it out what an experience this has been like what are we gonna encounter camping out here tonight yeah they're just parked underneath like a shelter so we're still driving along the border here obviously we haven't seen nothing we're, we're trying to actually like see if we can find anybody crossing over like that'd be interesting to film and catch it i'll keep you guys updated Hello, anyone here? We have cookies. If anybody wants cookies, we got them. Okay, so here's the game plan. Now, we came out here just because we're kind of in the area. And what we're going to do, because clearly this is like the busiest area where migrants come in. Because there's CVP over there. There's a shit ton of lights, cameras, a lot of water, porta potties, and shelters. So they do know that these guys come out here. So we're going to wait out here for a few hours and see if... Anybody shows up, right? Got a little cool though. It, it did get a little cold, yeah. Put my sweater on. So if these guys are crossing over in the winter time, they're gonna freeze their butts off. So, I mean, they left the gates wide open for them, literally, like that, that's the gate to Mexico. They've left it wide open. So let's see what happens if we just uh, wait around. Oh, check this out. Look what I just found over here. Department of Homeland Security, US Customs and Border Protection Baggage Check. So I guess if they have any bags with them, they would make them check their bags in. That's pretty cool. What? That's crazy. Literally, Mexico through this gate right over here. That's uh, people on the highway driving in another country. How insane is that? 
Hey, check that out. They left a, a dog bowl. A dog bowl here. In case any animals wanted some water. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. No way. What the f I just found someone's ID card. That is crazy. Santiago Sanchez. What the hell? This is crazy. I just found some guy from Uruguay. This is his ID card. <laughs> so, what they do is they come here, and we learned that on the last time we were here, is they drop off their ID cards or their passports so they can have no identity. That's where the US government gives them a new identity and gives them a green card. But this is the only one that I've been able to find out here. I guess this is now my new identity. So you guys can call me. <laughs> Wait a sec. This guy's from the Dominican Republic. <laughs> hey, my new name is Santiago Sanchez. I found someone's ID. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Dominican Republic, Brian Smith, and Sa I don't know why there's a Brian Smith and a Santiago Sanchez. Oh, wow. That's crazy, right? Dominican Republic? Well, it says Uruguay on the oh. top, and then Dominican. Re He's originally from the Dominican Republic, but this ID's from Uruguay, I think. And it's pronounced Uruguay. 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 You are gay. It's another ID. Oh, this is another ID that's been torn off. Yeah, 1998. This is another one from Colombia. Oh, really? But it's been torn off. That's crazy. It just says Colombia on it. The other pieces are missing. So I guess if we, if we really look around. Yeah, because they get new ones. They get new identities. This is crazy. All right, let's see if we can find some more IDs in the sand. Definitely not gonna be passing this. Entering the Cocopa Indian Reservation. Ah, that's an Indian reservation there. That's Mexico there, Indian reservation there. This behind me, the yellow gate, yeah. that's not Mexico. That's an Indian reservation. Oh, okay. This over here is Mexico. But this over here is an Indian reservation. That's cool. So you get 90 days in jail or a $200 fine. I just heard somebody walking back there. I wonder if there's someone showing up. All right, this is getting freaky. Yo, just heard somebody walking back there. Yeah, like actual footsteps behind the, behind the wall. There might be somebody showing up any minute now. This is uh, kind of, I feel weird because CBP is literally right there the red red lights back there like I wonder if he thinks we're waiting for someone like do we look shady but then again he sees cameras right like they want people to document out here because of the problems they've been having right because obviously the US government ain't doing much about you know stopping people from flowing in now listen i don't have a problem with immigrants trying to find a better life like i came to canada at the age of five as a refugee because i lived in a war zone right and uh we experienced hell even at the age of five i was well aware of everything that happened and uh i came to canada you know the canadians took us in they gave us a great life obviously thank you to such an amazing country you know thank god for that but we came in the legal way right like we came in the legal way we obviously didn't have any bad intentions we contribute to society but if you're like i'm not saying all these people that are coming in are bad obviously not like maybe like one to two percent might be bad depending depending on who they are right like you'll have criminals that will come in and just ruin things for all the other immigrants that are trying to come in. But a lot of these people are just trying to have a better life. You know, they all have kids and everything. And the problem is, is what I'm seeing online, is a lot of people are getting mad at the immigrants for coming over. But I don't think it's the immigrants people should be mad at. They should be mad at 
the politicians because the politicians are the ones that are organizing these caravans of immigrants to come in like they're clearly lining up their pockets with money one way or another they're doing it you know for their own greed and they don't care about the repercussions of what happens so a lot of times you know these immigrants that are being told and they're being led by these greedy politicians they're being told hey come here for a better life we'll give you guys whatever all you got to do is vote for you know the people that benefit them right so yeah when you get mad at immigrants don't get mad at actual immigrants get mad at the politicians that are causing the problems because it's literally the world problems that we have now only come from politicians myself you other people we're all humans and we're all the same we all bleed the same whether you're black white chinese freaking arabic whatever religion you are we are all the same we're all brothers and sisters on this planet the only thing that makes us different and makes us hate each other is bullshit media lies and freaking politicians they are the scum of earth no matter what side of the spectrum they're all on the same team but they make you think they're not they're all in the same club and you're not invited always remember that literally all of the world's problems are politicians that create stupid policies to benefit themselves and when they're benefiting themselves you're going to be losing we're all going to be losing actually so yeah just remember that and next time you you see immigrants and you're like get these guys out of my country yeah in a way everyone in this country and in canada is an immigrant because the original people of these countries were the actual natives right so remember that next time you want to you know hate on an immigrant actually... don't actually me the original people of the north americas yes, were yes, the natives and we all know that thousand two thousand years whatever but it doesn't actually, matter how long it, it was actually no just because it's interesting how yeah. they got here they technically are immigrants too well if there was no one here before them and they were the first ones to come here well the dinosaurs that's, that's a <laughs> dinosaur, Angelo. But it's God interesting, dang it. though, how they got here because that whole part of ocean from like where Russia and Siberia was, yeah. that was frozen, and they literally walked across that into North America. That's how they got here. I don't know if that's true or not. So the whole point of this, we're all friggin' human. We should all learn to love and get along with each other, no matter who the friggin' politician that is running um, the country. As long as they're doing it in a good way, that's all that matters. But if they're doing a shitty job, then they should be gone, right? But like, literally every problem that happens on this planet comes from greedy people, greedy politicians, people that just want to line their pockets up with just money. In the process, they make you bleed. All of us bleed and suffer. Wow, look at that moon in the background. Isn't that amazing? So yeah, we've been here for like an hour so far. We haven't had anyone show up, come and go. Yeah, it looks like someone might be coming through. We're seeing flashlights in the distance in the forest. Yeah, there, we did hear like voices and stuff, so there actually might be somebody trying to come through through the forest. So let's let's hope we. Have, oh yeah, I see a flashlight. Yeah, guys, we can literally see them. They're like right there with a the flashlight. That's them moving. They're moving slow because it's still like a distance away, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, there's CBP now. Oh my god. They are getting closer, yeah? Yeah. It's like three lights. Yeah, it's at least three lights. At yeah. Least three. Yeah, they are right there. <laughs> wow. That's it. This is crazy. They don't have a river to cross. I think they've already crossed the river. I think so, yeah. Yeah. All right, now we wait. <laughs> wait. This is crazy, dude. This if we get to nuts. see people crossing, wow. insane. They're totally insane. All right, so CBP clearly knows that there's people in the bush because they have night vision cameras on the opposite side of the wall and they probably have eyes on them because these guys probably came a really dumb way. I gotta get out of the road. But like you could see them actually getting closer. Oh, he's on the move. They see them. They see them. Yeah, he's on the move. I wonder if he's gonna go around somehow. That's crazy. They're looking for something. Yeah, they're looking for something. They got their spotlights on. It just goes to show you in the darkness, like these guys can be hidden anywhere. All right, so we actually might get, to, oh, they're getting closer. The lights are getting closer, dude. Oh my God. What are you seeing? So there's three people mm -hmm. so far from what I've seen. I've seen them clear as day yeah. on the binoculars. But they're behind trees now, so we can't really see them at, at the moment. Yeah. Dude, this is cool. They're there. Okay. You see him? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, it looks like they went to the left a little bit. They're going this way. Yeah. I think, I think uh, another guy is coming up the road. Yeah. Looks like he's coming this way. Their laces went dim. On back. Hmm. I wonder if they got spooked or something. Or they're lost. Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely someone with a flashlight, guys. There's literally somebody there. I think they're coming here because it looks like it's coming this way. Yeah, that is somebody walking with a flashlight. That's just to show you guys where I am. Like I'm literally over here. Oh, they turned their light off, or they dimmed it down a little bit. Yeah, I can see them walking, guys. There's literally that is not a car because there's a highway behind there. Bro, I can see them walking. Yeah. yeah. He's holding a flashlight. He's coming this way. Yeah, they're walking through the forest. Wait. They're literally coming this way. Look at my camera. Look at my camera. Look, you can see them walking with the flashlight. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, they just hid behind the trees now. All right, I'm seeing three flashlights. You see that? I see three flashlights. They're walking in the forest. They're guys. We're literally about to capture somebody illegally crossing in. Those three lights are literally people. They're walking. I think guess in a group. I don't know how many they've got with them, but we got to be careful because the the the, the coyote is probably um, a cartel member, right? Like we don't want to get shot at. Oh yeah, they're getting closer. You guys, look at that. We don't know how many people it is though, but I'm sure there's like a whole bunch of them, right? Like there's a, a flashlights. Flashlights are moving through the bushes over there. It's definitely people. Oh yeah, there's a person walking there. someone talking. Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from there, I guess. Yeah, they're coming from there. Yeah, we're in the dark right now, but we're on the river where we were earlier, and we can hear somebody talking from the bushes. Someone's screaming. Yeah, there's a helicopter like flying right above. Really low too. That thing's like super low. Yeah, they're definitely like patrolling the area even by a helicopter at nighttime. After a long night driving up and down the border wall, we decided to call it quits as we believe whomever we had seen attempting to cross in the darkness of the night might have gotten spooked by us. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Smash the like button. Let me know, were we at the wrong border crossing or was this the actual one that's been all over the news?